Hi guys, it's Dave, Next Level Fitness again. Um, so tonight I want to go a little bit off script actually um, and I want to talk about my story. Um, so it dawns on me, uh, a lot of you folks that are watching probably don't know me, have never met me uh, and don't, uh, therefore obviously don't know anything about me. So, um, well here's me in a nutshell. Um, go back about 10 years, um, I was heavily into bodybuilding. I was one of these guys that you see walk around the gym who was, I was a big lad, um, I was bench pressing 200 kilos, um, I was weighing about 16 and a half stone, thereabouts as I remember, um, big chest, skinny waists, um, yeah, you know, there's guys like that in every gym. Um, anyway, I started to get really, really um, tired all the time, I started to get slow, uh, I was knackered just walking up the stairs, uh, and I'm just, you know, my wife, uh, well, the, she was then my girlfriend, um, she managed to convince me to go to the doctor in saying this just isn't right. Um, anyway, um, sort of whiz over that, but I managed to get in with a heart specialist on the Isle of Man, um, who said that I had a bicuspid valve. Um, so bicuspid valve disorder is when one of your valves that should be, um, a tri-leaf they're called, um, is actually fused together, so there's not a real opening on it. Um, so okay, so obviously that scared me quite a bit. Um, it then upset me for the fact that he said that I could no longer train heavyweights. I couldn't train heavyweights, I couldn't train for size, um, I was allowed to train lightweights and cardio. Um, so this really, really shook up my fitness for quite a while and I was I was very, very lost. I was still going in the gym, I wasn't enjoying being in the gym. Um, I started to take a little bit more focus on moving quicker and doing high intensity stuff and doing interval training. And I had a lot of people at that time coming up to me in the gym and saying, oh, you know, you used to be able to do this and you used to do that and how did you go about this? So I really started to develop this passion for teaching people how I used to be and it's because of finding out about my heart issue um, that I began my journey to become a personal trainer. So look, fast forward a few years, um, to, 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 to March, March 2012, um, I'm really, really slowing down again. Um, I'd got to a really super fit sort of stage again, um, nice healthy ways, lightweights with cardio, um, but it, I was a really, really happy with how my fitness was going and I really started to slow down again. Um, I went to see my vascular surgeon, um, local, and he said, yeah, it's time, it's time for open heart surgery, it's time for valve replacement. Um, okay, so the news didn't really shock me, of course I've been prepared for it for several years, so um, I went back and forth to Liverpool uh, several times over nine months. Um, until I finally got in to, to have my valve surgery done. Um, this was a long nine months, folks. My daughter was only young. Um, this has gone back two years. She was two years old at the time. Um, and I'd come to the end of the day, personal training. Um, that was a part-time venture for me at that time. I'd come to the end of the day, and I would struggle to walk up the stairs at home. I'd struggle to go and kiss my daughter goodnight. This, this was a really, really tough nine months. So anyway, so uh, I had the valve surgery. I had it on a Thursday. Um, I then, my wife got a phone call late that night, um, after the 10 hour surgery was a good success, um, but they, um, they were lucky to spot a severe internal bleed, so they had to open me back up, so, so my wife was quite scared by this, uh, but that was fine. The surgeon came round the day after, um, and basically told me I was very, very lucky to still be alive from the mess that they'd found inside my heart chamber. Um, and that he'd, he'd never seen anyone walk in, actually just walk in of their own accord in the state I was in. Um, so look, long story short, folks, I spent uh, three and a half days on an ICU unit. Um, you're supposed to spend 12 hours, but they couldn't get my heart rate down from 170 constantly. I then got down on the ward. I spent two days on the ward getting better and better and better before I crashed. At the point of crashing, um, they hooked me up to a, um, it's called a telemetry machine, so that watches exactly what's going on inside your inside your body so far as your heart and your blood pressure. Um, uh, I actually watched my heart flatline, uh, I don't know, 20, 30 times, something like that, in, in the space of 24 hours before they fitted me with a pacemaker, um, and yeah, the, everything was on the up from there. Um, that's, that's my scar, um, that's my pacemaker scar there, folks. That's just the top of my tip of my scar. If I can figure out how to do it, I'll put some pictures up. Um, but look, the the whole surgery experience off the back of that, eight weeks later, well, seven, eight weeks later, I was back in, instructing my boot camp, and 12 weeks later, I took my personal training um, business to, well, to the next level, funnily enough, um, and I took it full time. 
the fact of the matter is, if I'd not found out about my heart problem, um, I I wouldn't have gone through um, the the journey to become a personal trainer, and I wouldn't be self-employed, working for myself, and being able to talk to fantastic people um, and help people's lives um, every single day in the way that I do. So, it, it just if there's one takeaway point from this, folks, it is literally that everything that goes on, it does, it goes on for a reason. Um, I was never, never, neg- never been a negative person, um, but my journey made me a million times more positive. Um, it's made me realise to not whinge and bitch about things. Um, everything, everything goes on for a, for some form of a reason, um, and everything is going to make you stronger. Um, just really, um, yeah, just be good to each other. Um, Guys, this has been Dave from Next Level Fitness. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. It has been a little bit of a a different video tonight, Um, but we'll speak again tomorrow. Thanks very much for watching.